Hey guys, Ergon Angie with Ergon Web. So guys, I've got my Evanex Airspeed 22 Cal, semi-auto, yes, semi-auto, no caulking between shots, no loading a pellet between shots. Pull the trigger, pull the trigger, pull the trigger, pull the trigger, and just keep pulling the trigger until the pellets are gone. That's awesome. And then I have my ATN Excite 4K Pro day slash night scope on it. Why? Good question. This is an awesome scope, guys. It records video, so you can record every one of your shots. Oh, don't forget to hit record. It also is, like I said, a day and night scope. I have this IR illuminator right here that lights things up bright as day at night so that I can take those little pesky critters that only come out at night and tear up my yard. So guys, it, gets, it gives a good, clear, crisp picture. You are definitely confident in what you're looking at at night or in the day so you can make a responsible choice in what you're shooting. I love my ATN X Lite 4K Pro. It also has a couple other features, guys. You guys can connect it to your phone. You guys can look, see on your phone what the person that's looking down the scope can see. Um, it also has the one shot zero capabilities, which is you basically can zero your gun in in one shot, which is really cool. You also can set it up for different profiles. So you can change it from gun to gun to gun, or as I do sometimes, I have different profiles for different pellets because the different pellets are a different weight, so they're going to shoot a little differently in the gun. So guys, there are so many options with the ATN X Lite 4K Pro. That's why I love it. I've got a 911, guys. We have got these little critters again tearing up our yard in the middle of the night. Not cool at all. So I needed to get something set up that I could jump out the bed, run outside, and tear them up with. So I figure the Evanex Airspeed, semi-auto, shoot yeah, this and the ATN X Lite 4K Pro is going to be the perfect combo. Now I just need to find the perfect pellet. I'm just going to aim for the very center target. That looks like it. I'm not sure. I might be low. Maybe a tad bit left. Shoot another one. Uh, let me go look. See where I'm at. Uh, we're gonna go no go on those ones now because I want my testing to be the same I am going to fill my gun back up GTOs these are lead free 11.75 grain so Yes, definitely lighter. I'm going to aim for the bottom right, expecting that they'll shoot high. So those ones actually shot quite nicely. Those are the lead free. So I am going to save those. The heaviest and the lightest. Let me go set up some clean targets so I can definitely get a good view of where they're hitting 
and we'll check these guys out with 10 shot groups. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, which one should we do first? I'm gonna check these out first. These are the Barracuda Match, 21.14 grain. Hit record, and I will shoot for the top left target. I should have just put two targets on the paper, but I didn't, so here we go. Top left, 10 shots. Well, man, those were not as pleasing as I thought. So, let me refill it. Okay, it's still on record. So this time I'm going to go for the top right target. That, guys, I would say is pretty dang good. So now it's time to bust out the crony. Let's see what kind of velocity. These lightweight, lead-free GTOs are getting in the Evan X airspeed. Okay, so let's go ahead and shoot over the crony and see what numbers we will get. Wow, 1114. 1136. 1123. 1126. 1132. 1137. 1117. 1121. 1132. 1140. That's awesome. That is so freaking awesome. Let me load up another. Let me check my air real quick. See how much air we've used. We've got plenty. Plenty. Let me load up another mag. And we will do it again. See how many shots you get per fill. Finding out if I can be confident that this gun will take care of my armadillo problem. No. No. Safety. 1136. 1131, 1118, 1112, 1116, 1122, 1127, 1128, 1108. Let's check my air again. 175 bar. So let's see. We got more shots coming. So let me load another mag up. 1113. 1126, 1113, 1125, 1121, 1113, 1099, 1100, 1111, 1121. That's 30 shots, guys. Let's check my air. Just about 150. So 150 bar, 30 shots, semi-auto pushing over 1100 feet per second with, of course, the pellets are lead free, so they're super light guys, but st that's pretty awesome. And I love the sound of lead free pellets. The really, the lighter pellets guys really make a crack sound when you shoot them, I love it. So I'm gonna stop there. Um, I could shoot it down to 100 bar, but I'd prefer not to, so I'm just gonna stop right there. And I am pretty confident that I'm gonna get some armadillos with this. Now shot placement is key, and I don't know about you guys, but I have shot armadillos with a 25 cal before. I've got them in the head, I got them in the side, um, by the shoulder, 
and it seems that every one of them have flopped around after the first shot. So trying to get that second shot in really quick can be difficult. So this is going to be awesome because it is semi-auto. I don't need to cock it. I don't need to break the barrel. I just continue to pull the trigger. I don't even need to move my face. So I just continue to look into my ATN watching B. Just continue to look into my ATN watching the armadillo and taking shots. So I think it's going to be pretty sufficient for the job. So guys, hold on. Before I leave you with just the information in this video, I wanted to share with you a few more things. I have shot several different types of pellets in my Evanex Airspeed 22, and guys, there were some that didn't work, like the Predator Polymags. Those didn't shoot very well. The H&N Barracuda Hunter Extremes. That was a surprise to me, but they did not do well. And also the um, Hornets, another surprise to me. They didn't shoot well either. And it may be that I need to change the power setting a little bit. See right here, I can, where is it? Yep, right there. I can adjust the power setting. So it may just be that I need to change the power setting for the pellet. Um, of course, this is a 911 video, guys, so I'm not having time to go through all the testing of each pellet, the power setting, where it shoots the best at, and that type of thing. So I'm out to get some armadillos. Okay, guys, so at the beginning of this video, I said I have the gun and I have the scope to get the job done. I just needed to find the perfect pellet. These guys are the perfect pellet, I think. Of course, I'm going to have to do some testing and actually take some real shots at the armadillo to see if this will actually put it down. Super light, but super accurate and guys, super fast. If you guys would like to stay posted with my upcoming videos and reviews, please go and like the Airgun Pro Shop Facebook page along with Airgun Angie, Backyard Shooting, Airgun Web and as well as YouTube, go subscribe to our YouTube channels, Airgun Web, Airgun Pro Shop, Airgun Angie, and Backyard Shooting. Oh, and also check out Ben, the Outdoors Air Gunners channel, Shooting Gear Review. That's it for today, guys. I'm Airgun Angie with Airgun Web. Hopefully, I'll be getting some armadillos with this, and if I do, you guys will definitely see it. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya. The best ones are the JSB Crumb. I didn't forget what they were called.